For centuries across the Peruvian Andes, people have relied on meltwater from the mountains. Here in Juarez, a bustling centre an hour's flight from the capital, the markets are full of produce. But there's a problem. The mountain's water source is slowly disappearing. The rivers still run fast for now, but the glaciers that feed them are melting away. At this place, it was one of the most popular places for tourism uh, in Peru. Benjamin Morales is a glaciologist. He remembers the Paso Ruri Glacier in its heyday when people even skied here. The glacier, it was one only glacier until all this way, until the houses. Stretched all the way down? Yeah, all the yeah, way down. We walk where once ice hundreds of meters deep lay. Now the glacier has receded all the way back to the face of the mountain. We are lost in time because all the, the glacier that is going, the water of the glacier that is going, it's going to the sea. It is a stunning sight, but it's full of danger. New lagoons of melted ice are forming, increasing the threats of mudslides and flooding disasters. You know, they say that this glacier is melting at such an incredible rate that it could be gone altogether within 30 or 40 years. And across Peru, all the nation's tropical glaciers are disappearing at ever increasing rates. And that's creating an enormous problem for those who rely on this as a water source. Down the mountain, the crops are ripening. Farmer Nicolas Leon runs a successful organic farm, but things are changing. We've seen climate changes in the last four years. It's become much hotter and our soil dries out more quickly. There are cold winds from the mountains. Plants have less resistance due to climate change. Entonces hay poca resistencia a las plantas. Nicolas is working with the changes. He's built a reservoir so he can manage his water supply when the river runs low. Farmers across Peru have already had to start adapting to the effects of climate change. The future here and across the world, it seems, is a looming uncertainty. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Juarez, Peru.